Here is what I learned in talking a little bit of trash with my friends from Seattle over the course of this series. When the Astros had that walk-off home run with Jordan Alvarez, I sent a video of myself saying, welcome to the real playoffs with a wink at the very end of it. And they got so pissed off in response. And I only sent it on that line because multiple people had said bleep Houston. And as that happened over the course of the game, like I found myself changing very much from my, oh, you know what? I, I wish the best for Seattle. No, I was like, actually, in this series, they can kick rocks. They can all go bleep and die. You know, that's how I was feeling as the series went along because of people like that. They are of the belief, and I would say this is Seattle and people who cover the team, that because they have not been there and done that, that we, arrogant Astros fans that we are, are not allowed to punch down. And that is a load of BS. That is a load of BS. You get to be cocky and arrogant as much as you want because this is the best team that's been in this city ever. Six straight American League Championship Series. I even tweeted out afterwards, and I continued to lose followers from Seattle, saying, this is the real first round of the playoffs. And it is, by the way. Congratulations to the Astros for actually making the playoffs. You know who didn't? Dodgers. You know who didn't? The Braves. Tight few uh, playing games, I will say, for the Astros this year. But, hey, we got we made the playoffs. Yeah. Now we can celebrate. Uh, yeah. Also, Seattle fans, you're in the playoffs. Like, what? Like, this Are, is how it you're, works. You're not the. You're, you're not, not immune. A, yeah, you're not a, a, an S, FCS team going up against Alabama. Like you're in the playoffs. Oh, but we're the good guys. See, this is where everyone gets main character complex. We're the good guys. We're the team that no one expects to win. And yeah, they're evil. They cheated back in the day. Hey, cheaters! Cheaters! They're stealing signs still. I, wait, they've been to straight six straight American League championship series. It doesn't matter. They cheated once. No one else in baseball was doing it. Oh, wait, other teams in baseball were doing it? Doesn't matter. Cheaters. When you start coming at people with that, what do you expect to come back when the cheaters stuff you into a locker? Although, you could argue how forceful the stuffing was. Again, I, I feel like this was a much closer series than the three-game sweep would indicate. But what do you expect? If you chirp even a little bit, what do you expect? And we're just supposed to sit here and twiddle our thumbs? The Astros' Twitter account's supposed to do that, too? F that noise. Also, yeah, it, what, Seattle Mariners' Twitter. First time? Yeah. Like, <laughs> first time on Twitter? It like really was. Serious, that's, that, Sean, to me, is what bothers me the most about this. And look, I like Mariners fans, but I felt that the way that they operated here, where, like, you can't come back at us, that's not how it works. Yeah, like, we, if y'all would have won, y'all would have... They're yes. doing the same thing. Oh, they would have been dancing on the grave. Like They would have been dancing on the Astros' graves had they won. And I'm sorry, it comes back to bite you if you don't pull it off. Team accounts in baseball talk trash like in the regular season when they sweep like a June series. Like, of course, it's of course, they're going to tweet something that's a little snarky that makes fun of you. Like, right. of course, they will when you lose in the playing games of the AL tournament. Seriously. Play in tournament. Thank you for clarifying. Because that's that's what it was. They lost in the second round of the play-ins. Yeah. And look, it's very noble to get to the second round of the play-ins. But for a real team, the playoffs start now. And if you talk trash, I'm sorry. I, we're not supposed to sit here like we're going to church and just shut up the whole time. Talking trash in sports is fun. Maybe I'm a little more violent with it, having grown up in the Northeast. But you know what happens? When you conquer your opponents, I don't know. This is just me, but back in medieval times, like, probably going to have a bunch of heads on spikes, and there's going to be some touchdown dances after the fact. That's how it works. Yeah, like, Mariners fans, you've been waiting 22 years to make the playoffs. This is the playoffs. Like, yep, that's how it works. <laughs> maybe, maybe if you don't like this, like, maybe you just shouldn't be a baseball fan yeah, because this is what it takes to actually win the thing is – Along the way, you're going to get stuffed in a few lockers. Todd, the show says, I feel like the fans were less cringe than the media guys. And I would agree with you. The media that. was. But the media guys are being, like, just giant. I hate to say it, but puss bags. It's been ridiculous. Like, they have been so soft on this front. This is how it works. It's violent. And by the way, like, I'm saving my violence for the teams that I actually hate. Like, when the Yankees, if they either lose to the Guardians or they lose in this upcoming American League Championship Series against the Astros, 
you can bet. Like, I am I am bringing the nukes out for that. Because I hate that team, and I hope, like, I, I hate them. I hate their fans. I hate everything about that team. The city that they play in, I hate it. I bleeping hate that team. And I will turn guns on them. And guess what? They are beneath us, too. Everyone is beneath you. You can't talk trash about anybody because they're beneath you. Like, what's the fun in that? Nope. Baseball game, it's church. You have to sit there for seven hours and say nothing. And if the other team wins, you, you, you pat them on the back, and then you say, like, good job, guys. We'll, we'll take you on next year, and we're really excited for it. No, bleep you. Remind you of your place. You do not get to go here yet. That's all I wanted to say. By the way, you're a coward if you don't want the Yankees. You're a coward if you do not want the Yankees next. Coward, C-O-W-A-R-D. Did I spell it right? Yes, I did. You are a coward if you do not want the Astros to play the Yankees. You want the Yankees to win tonight. And I feel guilty. I mean, I would root for, you know, probably Russia, China against the Yankees if they were to play in some sort of exhibition match. And I'm not even kidding on that front. Like, I hate that team more than anything in sports, really. It's kind of weird how much I hate them, too. But I cannot stand them. And I am rooting for them. I want the Astros to play them. It is BS that the Dodgers have gotten a get-out-of-jail-free card. They don't have to play the Astros again. That is outrageous. Like, wow, we just had the most amazing regular season ever. Some person in the LA Times was writing this loser column before game four was even played between the Padres and Dodgers saying, yeah, you know, like, maybe maybe it's time to just give the Dodgers the series because of how good they were in the regular season. And these choking artists, these dogs, they lost again. I think it's BS. And they can never complain about the cheating again, ever. It's over. This was your chance to prove that you were just as good as the Astros over that stretch, and you choked like you do. Clayton Kershaw is a perfect face of your franchise. I get that you won the World Series. Asterisk. That wasn't real. I will never acknowledge that. Although the Astros should have made it that year. Whatever. It's fine. I'm moving on. But the Dodgers, they have to move on too. And if the Yankees lose tonight... Same thing. But you should want the Yankees. I think you're a coward if you don't want them. Yes, would you want to play a team that you're better than by a more significant margin? And I would say that Cleveland probably does apply there. But no. You want the Yankees. And if you don't get the Yankees, it'll be disappointing.